So I'm going to measure the bore diameter now of the drums and make sure that they're what the seller said they were. So I was told these were 9.020 inches. That's 20 thou oversize according to the manual, which is pretty good. Most drums you find for these early cars are actually over the condemning limit, which is which is very dangerous. This one's a good example actually. This is a this is a standard FJ drum. Um, and this has been measured uh, to be 50 thou, which is, um, if I'm not mistaken, 20 thou beyond the condemning limit. Actually, it might only be 10 thou. Well, it's either 10 or 20 thou over the condemning limit. So I consider this drum to be not really safe for um, solid driving. Having said that, um, I've encountered many drums uh, that have come off driving cars that have been converted, say, to HQ front ends or, or similar, um, uh, with drums that were actually 60, 70, 80 thou over, which is, you know, a good 50 thou over the condemning limit. Now, that's very dangerous because the drums get thin below these, at the bottom of these ribs here. So at the very base of the ribs, the drums get thinner and thinner until they crack and fail along this innermost rim. So suddenly your drum separates from the hub. Um, and I know from my own club, that's the FXFJ club in Sydney, that a number of people have experienced that. Now, that is particularly dangerous in these early cars because they only have a single circuit brake system. So whereas in a modern car uh, you have a dual circuit brake system in which either can fail and you still have uh, one set of brakes working, in these earlies if you lose your front or rear drum, if the drum disintegrates and the shoes come out, you lose hydraulic pressure completely. So you completely lose braking through the foot brake. And if it happens to be one of your back drums that blows up, then you have no brakes at all. And uh, I know some people have experienced that. So something to be definitely avoided. Right, so I've got here a 300mm pair of vernier calipers. Now these are supposedly accurate to um, three thousandths of an inch. Um, given they're made in China, I'd say it's probably closer to five thousandths. But that is good enough for the application. So I'm going to use these inner probes here. Now I've already cleaned the inside of the drum very thoroughly because um, what we're measuring here is as much uh, it has as much accuracy as the thickness of rust lumps will um, throw off. So you know it's important to get rid of lumps of rust. Okay, so here we go. I'll just get the get the vernier calipers on. Okay, so there we go. That caliper is nice and square against both surfaces. It's um, below any lip on the edge. And so I can now read off the vernier. It's quite hard to see in this shadow. You might just be able to make it out there that... Okay, we are less than a 128th of an inch over. So I'm just going to wobble it around a bit and just double check. Yep. This is measuring at around about 15 thou over size. About 15 thou measuring off the vernier. So that is plenty of cast iron. There's plenty of life left in this drum. If I wanted to get that four thousandths of eccentricity machined out of it, I could easily do that. Um, but I don't think I'll bother because that's, that's fine. So now I'm going to um, check the next one. But this is basically how you check brake drums. Um, 
And whenever you buy something off eBay, it's very important to do this unless you're going to fit them straight away because otherwise you could be in for a nasty surprise down the track. So if you're buying you know, expensive aftermarket drums that have been sitting around for a long time,